because tensions rising fast in Ferguson, Missouri, as we await a grand jury decision on whether police officer Darren Wilson will be charged in the fatal shooting of Michael Brown. The protests growing overnight ahead of that decision, and now we're getting word evidence in the case may not be released to the public if the officer is not charged. The prosecutor had claimed for months that those grand jury documents would be unsealed, but now the court says no decision has been made on that. Joining me now, Paul Millis, civil rights attorney, along with Charlie Brennan, host of The Charlie Brennan Show on KMOX St. Louis. All right, Charlie, let me start with you because you're on the ground there. What's the latest? Well, I think the latest is some uh, sources are reporting that the grand jury has reached a decision and there could be press conferences by both the uh, governor's office as well as the county prosecutor's office sometime later this afternoon or possibly early this evening, maybe 7 o'clock or so. And yesterday there was a, uh, a big bombshell announcement by the courts. One administrator said that even though the county prosecutor for at least two months indicated that all the evidence the grand jury has been privy to, like uh, the reports and the testimony, would be made public as soon as the grand jury makes its decision, that is, if they don't vote to indict, um, turns out the court said, wait a moment, we may not be releasing that information just yet. Uh, very interesting. Okay, Paul, civil rights attorney, why? What's going on here? Well... I understand why they might say they want to do it, because people don't trust the proceeding. Why that's the case, I'm not quite sure, other than their biases. The fact is, historically, grand jury proceedings have been secret, and it's not the prosecutor's call. The judge has to agree to it. He has to be provided good cause to do this. And quite frankly, I don't see it under these circumstances, other than the fact that it's a controversial case. There's a lot of controversial cases. Okay, so the interesting thing is, of course, we would hear all the evidence in this case if if there's an indictment, because then, of course, it would go to trial. Exactly. So all the witnesses and all the testimony and whatever was presented in terms of documents, autopsy reports, ballistics, would all be presented at the trial. But the reason for keeping these proceedings secret is important. The witnesses know that they can testify truthfully. Sometimes in these controversial cases, there's some fear as to some backlash one way or the other. Also, the officer himself. What about his rights if he's not charged? Why should all this information and material be let out? Well, what's the feeling on the ground there, Charlie? I mean, we've just heard the attorney, you know, for two 200 years, the system has worked where we haven't released, in most cases, almost all, grand jury testimony if there's no indictment. What's the feeling there in Ferguson? Well, well you know, that, that is true, but in a lot of grand jury situations, nobody knows when who's being investigated, but this is so public right now with Darren Wilson at the center of this, and I think a lot of people would like to see the justification of the grand jury if the grand jury decides not to indict Darren Wilson. What was the evidence that led that group of people to make that decision? Uh, people have been complaining the whole process is not transparent enough. Right. I, I can't imagine what's going to happen if there's no evidence presented to the public because that vacuum will be filled with speculation and rumor and innuendo and that's going to be a disaster. Yeah, another, another great point from somebody right there. I guess the witnesses, though, real quickly, Paul, they could come forward and tell their story after the fact, right? They could under the circumstances. I don't know if they will. The judicial system should not be held hostage to those who will protest if they don't get what they want. All right. Charlie, Paul, we're waiting for that whole decision. Probably going to come